Hi there everybody, Natasha here. So, it has been two months since I have talked about my vendor empties. I do typically like to go through what I have been using and enjoying vendor wise roughly every one to two months. I have a lot of vendor home fragrance wax and other items that I do use on top of Scentsy. While I do use Scentsy three quarters of the time, the other quarter of the time, I am picking from vendor companies. So I do like to keep these videos separate. So let's talk about what I used probably the last two months vendor wise. So I do try and, it's not always possible, but I do try and pull everything from one company and then go to the next. But sometimes there might be little things floating that I haven't picked up. So let's talk about Mad Witch Co first. So I finished up a candle in one of my favorite fragrances that I often buy from them in wax, but I had to get, and you could choose what fragrance you wanted in your candle. So this was the Sorting Hat candle obviously a Harry Potter edition and when it came to you it's white and as it burns it actually burns a color which will tell you what your house is so the fragrance I chose for this candle was Hagrid's hat which is basically pumpkin loaf and vanilla as I said it's one of my favorite fragrances with the Mad Witch Co that I usually warm or autumn winter around during that season. So I did use up the candle and is there a little bit of rat residue? As you can see, I was Gryffindor. So it started off, that was really fun. It started off white and it burned red to show I was Team Gryffindor. And when I actually did the Harry Potter Wizarding World quiz, it also showed I was Gryffindor. So obviously, I'm team Gryffindor. So I don't typically buy many candles because A, I have kids and cats that like to knock everything over. So they are a little bit of that fire hazard in our household. But I originally did come from burning candles. That's how I was originally introduced to home fragrance with burning candles. And I had no pulling issues with this. I had no sooting issues with this. This burnt really well. It burnt how it was supposed to burn. And its throw was absolutely fantastic. But typically you won't see many candles in my empties because I may pick up one or two here just to enjoy the ambience and atmosphere but I do prefer other methods of home fragrance over candles. So, is there anything else from the Mad Witch Cohen here? I do feel like there is. So, yes, yeah, so she did a like murder mystery. This was about, about a year ago. She did a murder mystery collection and I picked up a few of them, but a lot of them, when I picked up with them, they were done, this was, released in winter but a lot of them smelt more summery for me so I was kind of holding on to some of this collection to warming summer. One of them was the cold case and this was really really nice. This would be something I would pick up again if it was ever released again on her website. It was very fresh, vibrant, I think it was like a lime maybe coconut I can't remember to be honest with you I would have to look up the scent notes if I get a chance I will try and see if I can find the scent notes of the cold case and pop it up above or down below or somewhere but it was really good and I think I didn't want this last night I wanted this in December when I was kind of because that was when I was doing all the Christmassy scents and I kind of wanted a little bit of a break from the Christmassy scents because it was still really hot here so I did pop this in the warmers then and I do remember really really enjoying this as I said 
This would be definitely a scent from the Mad Witch Co. that I would pick up again. And I believe that's all I've worn from the Mad Witch Co. these last two months. So let's talk about Pumpkin Parcel. So Pumpkin Parcel is a, another vendor here in Australia that I do buy from regularly. So I have probably maybe one, maybe two warmings left. Oh, this was for when I started actually this month so I've been warming through this this month in my bedroom and it is marshmallow peppermint uh, I do believe this actually came from one of her she does maybe once twice a year do what she calls an oh I can't remember what it's called it's like an overseas she allows us to so she wants to buy oils basically from overseas that she wants to try out and so she does an open custom order and gives us the link to all the different fragrance oils that she will be purchasing from this overseas company and what she does is she allows us to place a custom order allows us to choose what oils we want place a custom order where we can get i think this time around she's doing clams but last time around she did the option of snack bars and clams and so this came from that and then any oils that are left over she will then make into little snap shops and just release on her website and the more popular ones may eventually be ones that come in her regular purchasing to make with her wax so that's kind of how she works her kind of overseas custom I guess selection so this came from one of the overseas custom and it's marshmallow peppermint there's something about marshmallow and peppermint together that I absolutely adore so I have been warming and enjoying that in the bedroom absolutely I love this I will be kind of sad to see this go but I have really been enjoying it as you can see I've almost gone through the whole snap bar in like two lots of warmings so that may be one maybe two warmings left so not this Christmas the Christmas before I picked up a layered wax melt from her so this was fun but didn't really work for me now let me explain why I love pumpkin parcel scents so I think it was the type of clamshell this was put in not the wax necessarily so it was a little hearts big thing and so what it was basically was the little hearts were filled one row was pine tree the next row was eggnog and cinnamon the next row was candy cane the next row was sugar cookies and then it was layered with vanilla cupcake top layer so it was kind of like a mix it thing but this type of clamshell made it really hard to get the wax out it was very crumbly and I found a lot of the vanilla cupcake kind of the way it was layered overtook the other scents actually I think the only one I really did smell really well with the vanilla cupcake was the eggnog and cinnamon I love the idea and I feel like if this was done in one of her normal clamshells like this I feel like it would have worked better but I just feel like this type of clam didn't quite work as I said I picked this up not last Christmas the Christmas before and I think I got through maybe two of the sugar cookie and one of the pine tree and then we went away that Christmas so I didn't really touch it till this Christmas so then I went through this Christmas or this December the rest of this Christmas collection now saying that the scents weren't bad I just as I said I got the eggnog and cinnamon really well I got a little bit of the candy cane the sugar cookie kind of just melted into the vanilla cupcake and the pine tree was quite light I think there was too much ratio of the vanilla cake to the others to actually really blend it out properly but it was nice and fun to 
try another one that I absolutely love from her and this is definitely would be a repurchase for me is Spike so this was a really nice candy cane peppermint type scent and Spike was obviously from the Buffy collection that she had going but as you can see I went through the whole clamshell of that so well, that would be definitely a repurchase for me. So I do have a couple of little scent shops from, from Pumpkin Parcel that I went through. So typically what I do is I'll buy the scent shops, try them, and then if I like what's in the scent shop with this company, I then go back and purchase the bigger plant shell version unless it's something like a collector's thing like her layered thing sometimes instead of clamshells if I do like the scent as I said I do buy the snap bars I find they're really great for mixing and they're really easy to snap off and that um, but the we're talking about the scent shots now so the scent shots I went for was to call upon our ancestors I believe this was from the charm mystery box that she did she does a lot of TV cult mystery boxes which are a lot of fun and I tend to buy a lot of them so this is like a powdery florally laundry scent to my nose and the next one spiced Italian chocolate I wore this in the bedroom I actually really enjoyed this it's chocolate but that spiced note adds like this deep warmth to it. Was this from her Chris, one of the Christmas collections? I can't remember whether this was from a collection or just one of the scents she has all the time on the website. But I did really enjoy spiced Italian chocolate. That would be a repurchase for me. I don't know that to call upon our ancestors would be. I'm not really into the laundry type scents. So let's move on to Britta's creepy treasures shall we so I went through some of ski weekend which is icy peppermint flannel sheets and sweater leather I thought I would really really love this based on the icy peppermint note but I get a lot more of cool clean laundry scent type notes it's a little bit too laundry -esque for me it wasn't my favorite as I said when I read Icy Peppermint I really thought I would enjoy it so I do have two more sizes like this to get through I'm going to have to try and think of something probably to mix it with but I love Brita's Creepy Treasures, the majority of what I have purchased off her, I would say would be a repurchase again. This was strong, it performed well, but it wouldn't be a repurchase for me because it's just not a scent that's up my alley. But I am still glad I tried that particular one. The next one is Coconut Butter Cookies. I loved this one. This one would definitely be a repurchase for me. It's just a summer cookie. This is the perfect summer bakery scent. You get, so it's coconut cream pie and Danish butter cookies. So if you like good cookie scent, coconut butter cookies is absolutely fantastic. So, oh, this is one from Pumpkin Parcel that I missed. So this was a little, I think, from their Halloween sample, which I never actually did on the countdown to Halloween days like I was meant to. So this was Freddy. Again, I'll have to have a look up at the scent notes and try and put the scent notes to some of these above if they don't have them. I remember liking this, but I can't remember what's in it and I can't smell what's in it from the pack. But I do remember liking Freddy. But thinking probably not a repurchase I think from memory so this is from a company called the scent lab this was gifted to me of a friend 
because he knows I absolutely love coffee scents. So, fresh coffee. So I did go through two cubes on one of my coffee warming days where I just wanted to enjoy coffee with some of my bakery in the kitchen. So usually for me with coffee scents, they're a morning type melt and I do mix them with some type of bakery in alternating warmers. So I usually won't use a fuel clamshell or a full or whatever it comes in, but comes in a baggie or whatever. So I usually put, I have big warmers in the kitchen and then I have two mini warmers. So my coffee scents will go in the mini warmers and then the bakery scents will go in the big warmers. So this will give me another two warmings and I absolutely love this. This smells like fresh roasted coffee. Phenomenal and it is strong. It was amazing. So I definitely will enjoy the rest of that. So then the wax I use, I do have a few oils I'm going to talk about. That again from the same person that gifted me the Fresh Coffee Scent Lab. He also gifted me a diffusing oil called Golden Gay Time. Obviously it's based off the streets. Is it streets? I think it's streets that make this, um, the Golden Gay Time ice cream. It's very caramelly rich. Absolutely amazing. I love, love this. And I love it when I can find a good bakery oil to diffuse. Another one I did in the kitchen was fresh coffee. So both of these oils are from Dusk, a shop called Dusk. So this was a gift. This I did actually buy when I went to town the last on holidays. It's a big company chain store type home fragrance chain store type thing. So when we go away on holidays, places like Townsville or go up to visit our family in the Central Coast, if there's a dust store, I'm always popping in and checking it out. So this is fresh coffee. So I do believe I had that going when I was warming this in my bakery scent. Really, really enjoyable. It smells like fresh coffee. It is a little bit on the bitter side, but this is a good one to mix with other bakery oils in the diffuser. And then the last one I had was from Deterra, just a basic peppermint oil. So they were the three, I guess, nonsensey diffusing oils that were going the last two months in my diffusers, along with the rest of this wax. So I hope you enjoyed my vendor empties. You will probably see me again in a couple of months going through vendor stuff again because I do have a massive lot of vendor stuff to work through. I've tried to scale back on purchasing a lot of vendor stuff because I've just got no room to put it anywhere at the moment. I need to work through what I have basically before I purchase anymore. So I am making a concerted effort to not purchase any more vendor. So you won't see any whores for a little while. I'm trying really hard. Then sometimes sales pop up and that where you know you can't resist but I'm trying really hard to work my way through some of my current stock before I go on and purchase more because there are some companies that I haven't tried out that I'm really keen to try out too as well but I know I have to work my way through what I've got first but I do hope you enjoyed this video until then stay safe and bye for now